class good morning how are you all today i am welcome to your computer class myself prem lata here i bring to you a new topic for today your first chapter networking in that topic is computer commerce before you go ahead are you all not feeling little hot yeah yes yes what shall we do switch on ac we have two options why yes. don't ac on it's too cool fine on ac okay let's do ac Om, please come and switch on the AC. Okay, why did we use remote for doing that? Because this is only one option we can always do. So what does it do, basically? It switch on and switch off the AC. Okay, so after doing that, did it give a signal to the machine over there? Yes. And what did it start doing? It started uh, cooling the room. So cooling is the output which we are getting it. Yes. 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 Okay. So with this, we understood saying that for any single machine to be started, we need to give a signal. We need to tell the machine that please get started. Then only it will get. Yes. Once we give some indication to the machine, it starts thinking. Just like our brain. Yes or no? As per the indication, as per the buttons which we are pressed. Now this particular remote has few buttons. Yes. Right? Yes. Want to see closely? Yeah. Every button has an instruction. When we press these buttons, all right, machine acts exactly the same way. Now one more example. Fan. Yes. We have fan buttons. Yes. But button has only on and off. Either on and off. Regulator. Yes, we have another machine or another button which supports, which is regulator, which actually controls the speed. speed. Speed, right? Once it gives that signal, it actually takes the air inside of the room and gives back it downside for us, making the room at the end. What is the result we are getting? Cooling. Cooling. Yes. Now you must be wondering why am I using this topic of fan, AC? We are in the middle lab. Why not we speak computer? All right. Same example. Let's drag and put it to a computer. Computers are made of two things. What are they? Hardware and software. Very good. Very very good. Hardware and software. software. Let's keep the software part apart today. Let's focus on the hardware part. The hardware parts of the computer are nothing but which constitutes our computer components. components. Shall we see this? Yes. yes. What are the different components which are available, which makes a complete computer system work together? Now, before we go towards the different components, I took the topic which we gave an example of AC. Simple AC remote, which gave a signal. to the machine which is receiving the signal as the signal says the machine is doing the same thing and responding the output the same way children, the same way our computer system also goes with the same cycle now this cycle is called as ipo cycle yes let's go and see a video before we go ahead with IPO cycle is nothing but input processing output cycle. cycle. Here we are going to be taking an example of manual milkshake. I mean, a filler. I am sure not this one. Yes. So here the mango pulp plus sugar plus milk. milk. Obviously, we require the ingredients. These form the input part of our milk. Milk. Now, processing. What is the process? Mix. Of mixer. Mixing what? Jo. All the input. All the input components. Input components. Yes, yes. Your mango pulp, your milk, your sugar. sugar. All together, process it, mix it. So for 
processing, we need a processor. Yes. Yes, obviously, yes. right? Without a processor, without having that hardware component, we cannot. If it is not a mixture, at least you will have not a glass and a spoon to steer it properly. Yes. And finally, output is ready. The same way, computer works exactly the same. Is it that computer works on their own? Like they get started by themselves, they think about themselves and then they give output exactly the way they want. Do they do that? No. Oh, obviously not. Computer is a machine, like any normal machine. Though the era has gone towards artificial intelligence, that has also been provided unless and until we give an input, it will not start thinking by itself. Coming back to our normal lesson. Are you all able to see yes. few things which have kept it here? Yes. Can you just name these? What is this? Keyboard. Keyboard. Why do I use it? Oh, type 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 what is the one which you are able to see? CPU. Can there be somebody tell you the full form of CPU? Central processing unit. Super. The last one. Monitor. Monitor. Good. Can I do any input from monitor? No. Why not? It is output. It's just a screen which shows us some pictures, whatever desired one. Can I directly talk to the CPU? Can no, I directly no. do anything on that? No, no. Will it help me to see something? No. On it? No. Keyboard. Will it allow me to see anything? No. No. The same way. Exactly when you come across these particular things, children, a computer system has a set of components which work together to give us a desired okay. result, output. Keyboard, as you people said, as you people said, it is used to enter the information or raw data to the system because none other components do this for us. Yes? yes? yes. So this is the input part of our computer system. Input components. Yes? The information whichever we key in, the information whichever we key in the keyboard goes directly to the monitor. No. Yes. It doesn't go to the monitor. It goes to CPU. CPU. In CPU, it decodes the information or the data which we have given and it processes accordingly. And the desired result which it has to give after processing, after all the calculation will be displayed on the monitor. Yes? Let's just see some of the input and output parts of our computer systems. Input, CPU, output, ROM, memory, RAM, hardware, storage, softwares, a typical PC hardware. Let's just see what are the hardware systems we have apart from your keyboard, CPU, monitor, basic ones. We have monitor. Motherboard, which is again placed inside the CPU. We have RAM memory, we have expansion cards, we have power supplies, we have CD ROM drive, we have hardware, we have keyboards, and we have mouse. mouse. Software plays a part of the computer which actually makes the computer to work. It is like a soul to a body. Hardware are the computers which actually form a setup to allow the software to work on it and help the user to use the system properly. Graphic expansion cards, they are designed to display the computer displays. We have heard about the word called graphic user interface, GUI, GUI yes. which actually helps us user-friendly desktop screens, which helps us to have an easy usage of the system. Correct? Just imagine if you didn't have a phone book in your mobiles. Would it be possible for you to remember all the phone numbers of no. so many friends and relatives which we have? No, no, no. Yes, so because it is really difficult, we have something called GUI in our computer system, which has made it very easy for us to do. 
Now let us focus on input devices. What are the input part of devices or input part of your computer system? Those part of your computer system which helps us to give any instruction to your computer. Is it only keyboard? No. No. Any part of the computer, any device which helps to give some information, some signal to the computer to work according to our design. Keyboard, mouse, obviously clicking, selecting, which has made our life very easy. We are very difficult, it becomes very difficult for us to remember all the short shortcuts. Trackball, graphic tablets, game controllers, obviously I don't have to give much information of game controllers, joysticks to you people, which has become a day to day part of the children, right? Yes. Touch screen. Touch screen is one such beautiful invention which has made the life of people so very easy to operate the systems or operate any mobile phone. Yeah. Yes? Now can you imagine a mobile phone without a touch screen? Obviously the technology has increased. There were time it was a keypad mobile phone. Now it has become a touch screen mobile phone. It has helped a small newborn baby of an year to just have GUI, graphic interface. Looking at the picture, it is able to operate. So how? Touch screen. Yes. Webcam, which actually helps us to take our images and My microphone, mind. which captures our voice, voice and gives the signal. Motherboard. CPU. Now coming to CPU. CPU is one such intelligent part of your computer system which is again divided into two parts control unit memory unit obviously it is just like our brain, brain. now what do we do a lot of with our brain with thinking, thinking, thinking done answers what process what answer if any thinking is answering only right the thinking and giving an answer another one storage, storage. we remember everything we think and we Remember, these are the basic. The same thing is done by our CPU. The first point when we start learning the computers right from our age of 3, 4, from first and second standard only, what it is? That CPU is the brain of computer. Yes, the same way CPU here is divided into two parts. They are control unit, which is controlling complete computer system, and memory unit which stores all the information. Now this control unit, it is again divided into two parts. That is arithmetic logical unit, which is nothing but A, L, U and logical unit. Now what is A, L, U? A, L is simple calculations. Logical is true and false, thinking and acting accordingly. Done. This is how your CPU is done. Finally, coming to your monitor. monitor. As I say, the brain of the computer, it is measured in megahertz and gigahertz. Memory part, what are the different memory parts available in the computer system? RAM. 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 What is the full form of RAM? RAM. Random access memory. Yes. Which is temporary in nature. Any information which you place in the RAM is temporary unless and until your computer system is on. And as soon as you try to save the file which you are working on on your computer system, the information gets shifted right from ROM to the hard disk, the memory unit of your CPU until and unless it will be there on the RAM. Order. Let's just take an example of RAM, how it is. For example, RAM is 4 GB. We install our operating system over that only, which might occupy roughly 1 GB. Then we install lots of our programs which are going to help our computer system work smoothly for us. And rest is 1 GB left, which is again used for your quick file creations. RAM is a piece
piece of device which looks like a green metallic plate which is placed inside your CPU. We'll come back to the memory unit once we finish our RAM and ROM. Now this is ROM. ROM is read only memory. Read only memory. It contains the things which a computer needs. For example, as soon as you switch on the monitor or a CPU, what is the thing which you see? Company. Company name? Yes. yes. Why to computer? Let's talk about your mobile phones. As soon as you switch on your mobile phone, once you charge it, what is the first thing which you see? Charge. It shows the charge operating system. It switches on. Yes. It shows the logo of the company. It shows the name of the company. Yes. And then as soon as it gets on, it shows the desktop, the first screen. First. Yes. Can I just, like for example, I have a MI mobile. It gives me MI. Instead of MI, I want to print up a display. Can I change it? No. No. I can't. Because those are the data which are present on ROM. It is only for reading. It is non-editable. It is non-editable. Coming to your output devices. Very basic, very common monitor. Monitor screen, printers, sound. Sound comes from the speakers. 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 Nowadays we are getting speakers inbuilt with our CPU. CPU. Yes, if you don't have a speaker which is outside, latest computers are coming with the speakers which are inbuilt, which are inside the system. That does not become a part of the CPU. You can just remove it or do not use it or have it additional to it. But that acts as a output unit. Yes. Yes. Let's just see. Watch a video which Tata Class Edge has very nicely designed with our syllabus, which gives a complete clear explanation of everything and where it does not have a second explanation to be needed. You all have seen computers. Out of curiosity, you may want to know the basic parts and working of a computer. So let us start with understanding the basics of a computer. What is a computer? A computer is a multi-purpose electronic machine that takes data and instructions from user, stores them into its memory, executes them on demand, and finally presents the relevant information to the user. Very true, right? What is a computer? A computer is a multi-purpose electronic device which helps us to create a file, create a presentation, edit a video, produce a video and nowadays we cannot think of life without a computer system, right? It also is a place which has huge, huge data involved in it, yes? Yes. This self-explanatory definition of a computer can help us understand the working of a typical computer. The entire computation process is broadly divided into three parts or stages. These are input, process, output. In the input stage, user enters data and instruction into the computer collectively. In the process stage, computer stores these data and instructions into its memory and executes them on demand. In the output stage, computer presents the results to the user. Sujit, can you just read for me? Receives data and instructions from user, process, stores data and instructions, and executes instructions on demand. Output presents results to the user. Yes. What I said, input, it helps us to give the data from the receiver, which the receiver has given us. Input receives it and gives it to the processor. Processor processes it. It, it just sees. See one example I just gave you, right? How about your storage and your control unit? It the control unit 
actually decides whether you want to execute something, process something or just store it. It reads the instruction and works accordingly. If it finds that this particular information which is being received by the user, it is only for storage. There is no processing thing to be done. It just gives to the memory on it and get it stored. If there is some calculation, let's take an example that we want computer to do a calculation of 2 plus 2, 4. 4. It has to give the result. It receives the data 2 plus 2 and it has to give the result. Add the two numbers and give the desired result for us. That comes as 4. That is being done by the process. CPU. CPU. Which part of CPU? Automatical logical unit. Now that we know how a typical computer works, let us look at the basic components of a computer. User has to enter data and instructions into a computer for it to start processing and providing results to the user. Entry of data and instruction into computer is done by input devices. Mouse and keyboard are the commonly used input devices. A computer mouse controls the cursor movement on the display screen. It is also used for selecting and moving an item on the screen. Keyboard is an input device for letters, numbers and special characters. A computer memory unit stores data and instructions. Examples of commonly used storage devices are random access memory, hard disk and compact disk. All received data and instructions are stored into the computer's memory. The processing unit executes the instructions on demand and computes the results. Arithmetic logic unit performs all the arithmetical and logical operations. Control unit manages execution of instructions and controls operations of other components of a computer. Arithmetic logic unit and control unit together form the central processing unit. Results prepared by processing unit of the computer needs to be presented to the user. This function is facilitated by the output unit. Display screen, printers and speakers are commonly used output devices. Click the correct answer and then click the empty space below the corresponding picture. Once you are done, click submit. Are we all ready for this quiz? Yes, yes. Just let me know, I'll take three people. First one, what is it? Printer. Printer. What it is? Auto device. Okay. CD. Compact disc. What it is? Hardware. Input hardware, software, secondary memory. Secondary CPU. Formware is a machine which helps us to do any work. That's correct. Really good. Let us summarize what you have learned in this video. Input unit receives data and instructions from user. Memory and processing unit stores data and instructions. Executes the instructions on demand. Output unit presents results to user. Yes? yes. Clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Shall we go for one more quiz? Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes? Okay. Sneha? Please. Okay. Which of the following unit supervises operations of other component of computer? Is it automatic logical unit, control unit, central unit or memory unit? Automatic control, 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 control unit. Submit. Yes, correct. Go for the next one. Barcode reader. We have come across barcode reader yes. in every shop. Yes. yes. Barcode reader is an example of which of the following components? Output unit. Yes. Which of the following constitutes 
the central processing unit software memory unit and processing unit arithmetic and logical unit and output unit or arithmetic logic unit D. and control unit b d let's see the answer correct which of the following is excluded from the output device category which is not the part of output category joystick joystick then what is the joystick input device which of the following component is called the brain of computer central processing unit very good any doubts before i head you all towards a interesting quiz which is waiting for you on your computer system any doubts no oh. all clear yes yes before uh, you as i mentioned now that uh, it is too easy for us uh, by using graphical interface yes so how did people use computers before uh, Graphical. Computers before graphical user that is GUI computers were basically used for your logic arithmetic and logical units only, and we used to have DOS prompts for that. Those black and white screens where you write codes and everything. Yes, because that's the reason. In early days, they were very less software engineers because they had to remember all the things. Now, during those days when we were using those DOS prompts and MS DOS. There were very less people who were using computers because they thought that it is very tough. That is the reason the technology has come from way faster generation to today, the fifth generation. That computer has become an integral part of our life. The technologies have become an integral part of our life. That is the reason because of this GUI. The software engineers, the inventors of the computer, they started thinking that more and more because of the benefits which they were getting it from the computers. They started how and how easily can we make the computers to be used by each and every single person to be used? Yes. Now see one question to you all: What is the importance of technology in our day-to-day -day life? Quick. Um, technology like the uh, who are living abroad and uh, connecting people. Connecting people. Very good. Yes. Okay, easily information are available to our hands. I would rather say it's not just a doorstep. Now it has become a part. Medical fields and all. Yes, the, uh, yes, very, very true. Now, what do you see technology in our future generation? I think the uh, human will not work. How many of you watch Doraemon? Have you watched? If I'm not sure whether you know, you watch nowadays. Doraemon is a very perfect example for the generations which has bought from past to the new one. It has given a vision that we can go for time lapse also. Time machine, which can take us to the future. We awesome. never know. Technology is such that today we have Sophia, the robot, robot. which is able to think by herself. Right? Then we can definitely have it. Yes. Now, quickly, everybody, I want you people to log in to quizzes. There's a quiz waiting for you all. I want you people to use the score and get into the quiz. Zero seven double two five seven. Yes, zero seven eight double two five seven without any space. Yeah. Can you start now? Wait. It's okay. You start. Wait for me to start the quiz for you. Yeah. Four, three, two, one, go. Let's see who makes the quiz quick. Just. Give the answer which you feel it is correct. You can see the live scores also on your screen. Who is doing the correct answer?
Once it is done, let me know. Because of the lead. I can see Sneha getting wet on the lead with a point of 3420. So, Jay, what is your score? 2070. 2070. Done? Everybody's done? Yeah. Enjoy the quiz? Yes, ma'am. Yes. With this, we come to end of today's basic components of computer. Let's just summarize. Can anybody help me to summarize? We learned about uh, we learned about uh, input devices. Okay. And, uh, part uh, examples of input devices. And uh, next is our processing unit. We uh, learned different types of uh, processing units like uh, mathematical, logical units, memory units. Uh, and then we learned about uh, pointers or output devices and uh, some examples of output devices. That's all. Okay. Thank you so much, Sujit. That was today's session. And before I go ahead, one thing, important thing which technology has helped us, computer system, is a biggest part of our technology. Right? A mobile phone is also a computer system in our hand. A washing machine is also a system which again works on input output processing cycle that is IPO cycle input processing and output. A simple fan, a refrigerator which we use in our day to day household life. One digital or digitalization which this particular technology has brought in is environment safety, safety. environment saving things. See today we did not use a single paper, we solved many questions, we took up a test online which will be saved for you people in your ID permanently unless and until you guys delete it. Alright? Yes. Instead of going for a paper or pen, digitalization has. See many companies also have started using these kind of supports, reducing the papers, radiation, e-books are, e -books are there available lot of things computer system has got all the information or the resources from different part of the world to your doorsteps on your desktop for you to learn. With this note, I end up today's class. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.